specific points to keep in mind after you have cut a tree are to always carry your load so that you maintain maximum stability. The center of gravity of your machine is raised when you are carrying a stem and you can very easily cause a rollover. Therefore, keep the cutting head low and avoid sharp, fast turns. Know the limits of your machine and don't attempt to carry a tree that will overload the machine capacity. Carry the severed trees in a vertical position or tilted slightly forward. Do not open the accumulator arms until the trees are starting to fall in the right direction. As the stems start to fall, do not attempt to stop a tree in mid-fall. You could damage your felling attachment or cause a machine rollover. When working on a slope with a heavy load, avoid turning the machine. Always work up and down the slopes. Trees that must be cut on a slope should be approached from directly above or below. The direction of approach is dependent on the direction the skidder will take to the landing. Never approach a tree on a slope from the side. You will be more likely to cause a machine rollover. If you lose power while working on a slope, lower the felling head and immediately try to restart the engine. The felling head should not be grounded as a means for stopping except in an emergency. When cutting dead timber, use extreme caution. Falling limbs and tops can cause damage to your machine or can even enter enclosed cabs. When you start to make your bunches for the skidder, be sure to consider which direction the skidder will take along the trail to the landing. Orient the bunches so the skidder does not have to reorient the stems toward the landing. You will not only make skidding more efficient, but will make the skidding phase safer for the skidder operators. The weather presents a natural complication to mechanical felling. On extremely windy days, you should always use extra caution. Wind speed and direction can influence the stability of your machine and affect the control you have when carrying severed stems. If you are anticipating an electrical storm, shut down all felling operations and head to a safe place. The risk that the next tree you cut might be a lightning rod is too great a risk to take. Now, let's cover some of the precautions you must take when servicing the feller buncher. Always pay attention to the safety alert symbols on your feller buncher. These symbols will alert you to hazardous areas on your machine. The first step to safe servicing is to ensure that the cutting head is safely grounded. Never leave the cutting head in the elevated position, especially while the engine is running. Leave the cab only after the saw head disc has stopped turning. A falling lift arm or cutting head can cause severe injury or may possibly result in a fatality. Unless the engine must be running to perform required maintenance procedure, shut it down and set the parking brake. Be sure to lower the cutting head to the ground. If the machine must be serviced while the engine is running, you should also place the transmission shift lever in neutral and chalk the wheels. Sometimes you may need to keep the cutting head in an elevated position to work on your machine. If this is the case, you should securely chain or block the cutting head in the elevated position using metal stops on the hydraulic cylinder rods. Don't depend on the hydraulic system to hold the cutting head in place. Never set the head on a log. It might roll and allow the cutting head to accidentally fall and injure you. On articulated feller bunchers, the center hinge area is a crush point. If the steering is activated with a person in the hinge area, severe personal injury or death could result. The articulation lock must be installed before working around the center hinge area or on the front frame area. If you are working on any piece of logging machinery, avoid having anyone accidentally start the machine while you are in a dangerous position or away from the area. Put a lockout tag on the starter to provide extra protection against accidental starting. You're now safely prepared to begin maintenance on your feller buncher.
Let's review the safety procedures we've just presented. First, become familiar with your feller buncher and its safety features by studying the operator's manual that is provided by the manufacturer. Remember to wear your PPE whenever you are in or out of the cab of the feller buncher. Always perform a pre-start inspection of your feller buncher. You may avoid a breakdown or an unsafe condition on your machine. Wear your seat belt whenever you get into the feller buncher. The seat belt and rollover protection system will minimize the possibility of injury in the event of a rollover. Keep a two and one half tree length distance between your feller buncher and other operations and at least 300 feet distance from other personnel. Maintain a low center of gravity by carrying the cutting head as low as possible without hitting the ground or other objects. Know the limits of your machine. When on steep terrain, work up and down steep slopes. Do not cut along the slope to minimize the possibility of a rollover. Stop felling operations during electrical storms. Don't carry around lightning rods in the woods. Before you begin maintenance operations, secure the cutting head in a safe position and install the articulation lock whenever working in the hinge area or front of the machine. The feller buncher is a widely used machine on many harvesting operations in the South. It is a highly productive machine and has been designed with your safety in mind. Follow the guidelines we've just presented, read your operator's manual, and practice safety in the logging woods. Be a professional logger. Alabama Cooperative Extension Service, meeting the challenges for tomorrow.